Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. Today's Sundays with Sizzix project is this oh-so-cute matchbox die that I created using the new Big Shot matchbox die. <laughs> and here's what you need to make this project. You're going to need some punches. The oval scallop punch, which is brand new, and it's featured in the Occasions mini catalog. I used the trio flower punch. I used the large oval punch and the one quarter inch circle punch. You're going to need some cardstock. The Parisian Breeze specialty cardstock that's featured on page 158 in the Spring Summer Idea Book and Catalog is perfect for making matchboxes because it's a much thicker textured paper. I also used Baja Breeze textured paper, some scrap Whisper White cardstock, and some scrap craft, or no, I'm sorry, this is Sahara Sand cardstock. You're going to need some adhesive, sticky strip, two-way glue pen. I used some Stampin' Dimensionals and my snail. Oops. You need some ribbon as well. I used the Baja Breeze striped ribbon and the craft taffeta ribbon. Your bone folder would be very helpful for um, getting the matchbox put together. And then the Baja Breeze Classic Stampin' Pad and the brand new Oval All Stamp Set, which is also in the Occasions Mini Catalog. If you end up buying from me the matchbox die, which is this new die in the catalog, I will provide for you a template that's a paper saving template. And that way you can use one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and not waste any paper and you'll be able to get two matchbox dies out of it. Now, after you use your paper saving template, you want to lay your cardstock on top of your die and then cover it up with your cutting plate and then run it through your big shot. Takes a second to get going. Whoop. There we go. Just out of the way. And you can save these bits for some decorations later. Here's the bottom of the box, and this will be the top of the box. And then you have three little tags that you can use for other projects. All right. Now, you won't be able to see it on the video, but the matchbox bottom has several score lines on it, and you want to fold inwards on all of those score lines, except for one. And I will show you that in a middle minute. Okay, so you get those folded in like that. And then the tab, this tab here has one tiny little score line. That's the only one that you want to fold back. And everything else you fold in towards the center of the box like so. The other thing that you won't be able to see is there's a diagonal score line, and you want to fold that in as well. Like that. All right, and then once you get those done, then you want to fold in the center pieces like that, and then this is going to fold up and over, and then the tab folds down to make the end of the box, but it also holds the entire box together. And of course, because I'm videoing this, it's going to work very well for me. And then you take your bone folder, 
and make sure it stays in place. And this, the neat part about this is it doesn't require any adhesive. The top of the box is the only part that requires adhesive. There we go, that went much smoother. And use your bone folder and just push it all into place like that. And there's the bottom of your matchbox. It really is quick and easy when you're not videoing it for lots of other people to watch. And then the top of the box has four score lines. So fold them. And then you'll have a narrow tab and then a long tab, and you're going to put sticky strip on the narrow tab and put it together like that. And I'm not going to do that right now because I'm limited for the amount of time I can do for my videoing on YouTube. So once you get it all put together, here's your top, and I put sticky strip on it. Here's the bottom, and you just slide it into place like that. And there you have your matchbox. Isn't that cute? And then to complete the matchbox, what I did was I stamped and punched out the Fabulous Friend from the Oval All Stamp Set, and I punched it out using the large oval punch. And then I stamped, or I didn't stamp, I beg your pardon, I punched out using the large or the brand new scallop oval punch, the Sahara Sand, like that. And then I stamped out or punched out a tree of flower and then a one quarter inch circle and put that together and then put it on top of the fabulous friend image. And then to complete the project, I applied snail adhesive to my Baja Breeze ribbon, wrapped it around and sealed it shut there. And then I did the same thing with the craft taffeta. I applied snail adhesive to the ribbon strip wrapped it around and adhered it like that and then to complete it I used the scallop oval image and attached it to the top of the box using dimensionals. There are many things you can put inside this cute new matchbox die. I put four little bliss chocolates but check out my blog in the next few weeks and you will see lots of different ideas to put inside the matchbox. I hope you enjoyed today's project. Please visit my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com, for all the ingredients and measurements. I'm Terry, and I'm Nuts About Stamping. See you soon.